guitar building. It has to do with a lot of different woods, different electronics, metal parts, what have you. All kinds of other things. All these little things that are little ingredients in a full recipe in making a full guitar. Now, if there ever was a more heated discussion, more heated topic, anybody mentions one word online, in any comment section, any forum, to do with guitar building, to do with guitars in general, that word is tone wood. All right, stop the alarms. We're here to do some science. But wood can it really make that big of a difference when it comes down to something which is, let's be honest, an electric instrument. Well, that's what we're gonna find out. There's a bunch of tests that people have done online, debunking this or proving it or whatnot, but I decided to uh, throw in a wrench. That's not the right phrase. I decided to give my two cents on this uh, topic of discussion. So, to go back a little bit, back in 2019, I started building four guitars, which were going to end up as the first production prototypes of the Daedalus and the iCris models. Now, the way that I approached these four instruments was to buy four planks of wood. One plank of ash, that would make two guitar bodies. One plank of alder, that would make two guitar bodies. One plank of walnut that would make all the necks for all the four guitars and then one plank of ebony to make all the fretboards. These guitars were finished in 2021. During the final stages, during that final year of building these four guitars, it started occurring to me that I want to test if there's going to be any sort of tonal difference between the four instruments. They're using the same woods, they're using the same components, and how can we make this into a good interesting test. So what I did was during the assembly day, so that was the final day of assembly, I had the four guitars and I had all the parts laid out. I essentially built up one guitar at a time. What that meant was I took all the electronics, the exact same strings, exact same tuners. To be fair, there's a three inline headstock and a six inline headstock, so I can use the same tuners, but I used the same company's tuners, so Schaller tuners on both, same make and everything else. That is the only difference between them. Same string retainer bar, same nut. Uh, and when I built one guitar, did the demo of it, I took it apart and put that exact same stuff into the next guitar. So the only thing that changed was the woods and the construction methods were the same. They're all set necks and the finishes are on three of them. They were all finishes and on one of them, there was one layer of clear coat acrylic. So to boil down the difference, differences between those four guitars, we have two Igresses and we have two Daedalises. We have two guitars that have ash bodies. So one Igres and one Daedalus. And then we have two guitars with all the bodies. Once again, one Igres and one Daedalus. And then two Carillion Birch veneer tops. So one Daedalus and one Icarus, and then two with other hardwood tops. So the Icarus that you have over here has a Bubinga top, and then the other remaining Daedalus has a birch, uh, flamed spalted birch and resin top. So those being the only differences, I set about doing the test and running everything through, just going straight from the guitar into my Fast Track M Audio, going straight into my DAW, which was Logic Pro, going straight into uh, Neural DSP's archetype Nali plugin. And then I did clean tones and high gain tones. Without further ado, let's have a look at how all that went. Okay. So, the first guitar that we have is the Carillion Birch veneer top Icarus has an ash body, walnut neck, ebony fretboard, Gungus ratchet pickups. It's got a push pull um, volume, tone, three way toggle, and a barrel jack. These are the exact same components that are going into the rest of the guitars, brass not included, and 
all the woods are from the same planks of wood. So both the two ash bodies that we have, which is this one and the other Daedalus, they are from the same plank of wood. All of the necks are from the exact same plank, exact same tree, exact same plank. All the ebony fretboards from the exact same plank. Um, the veneer top, probably not gonna give that much of an impact um, to the sound. I don't know, we'll see. The older bodies on the other Daedalus and the other Icarus also from the exact same plank. So pretty much getting as close as we can to any sort of proper tone wood test. And that's the first one that we have. So next up is the Bubinga topped Icarus. So otherwise exactly the same components as the previous one, except it has an older body and a Bubinga top, but everything else is exactly the same. It even has the exact same nut. And here we go. So starting off with the clean, I like that this has some snarl to it, like the tone of it, at least in my opinion it does. All right, time to take this one apart and uh, move on to the next one, which will be a Daedalus model. time for the river Daedalus. Now this one's a bit different where it has a spalted, slightly flamed um, birch top, a river of resin in the middle, and it has a very light, like currently, it has a very light lacquer layer. Now that's not going to change the tone at almost at all drastically because, you know, well, there's not enough clear coat on there to really make a difference. Um, other than that, it is an ash body and same ebony and walnut neck as on the others. So let's have a listen. That was the Resin River Daedalus. We have one more to go, which is the MKH Daedalus. All right, so last but not least, we have the MKH Daedalus, which is the same as everything else, but it's got an older body and a Carillion birch veneer top. Other than that, it is the same stuff as before. Bridge pickup, oh, I need to attach the knob. Right. So that was, that's been the whole lot. That's all four different guitars with the exact same hardware with pretty much the same woods, a little bit of variation and combination, but yeah, tested all of them out now. And uh, I'll be able to find out in the edit what kind of differences they have. Bridge position. Interesting. The Correct me if I'm wrong, but at least me listening to this now, it's like the Daedalus has sounded a bit warmer. The River Daedalus sounded the warmest and the Bubinga Icarus sounded the brightest out of those bunch. Let's have a look. Middle position.
Okay, so just from listening to that, like all the pickup distances are exactly the same, like from bridge, from the bridge and in correlation to one another on all these guitars. So even that and they're same height and same distance from the strings. But why does it sound like the, and I didn't change any settings at all, everything's exactly the same. So why does it sound like the Daedalus with the ash body and resin river top sounds the loudest? Kind of like also a little bit like the warmest or the MKH might actually sound the warmest. I can't really, really hear that. But the B-Bank Icarus definitely sounds the brightest out of the entire bunch. That's very interesting. But hey, uh, let's see if we can hear some differences from the gain tones. So here we go. Now for some gain. There's barely any difference there. Granted, the last one, the MKH, I had a little bit sloppier playing. That might account into it, but very hard to decipher any sort of change in that. Let's keep going with the split. So there we had the two ash body guitars back to back and the two alder bodies back to back. And from there, the ash bodies sounded very similar and the alder bodied ones sounded very similar, but they did sound different to one another. So maybe there's something to that? I don't know. playing I've had in this entire thing but okay so humbuckers really with the gain tone I can't tell any difference with coil split or with split coils I can hear some tiny difference in there maybe and I'm trying not to kind of look at the screen so I don't really so I'm just really concentrating on uh, the tones but it's very hard with the game tone to tell any difference. Okay, and at the end of that, uh, the past two, I was like, I wasn't even looking at the screen, but I'm, I have it color-coded so I, on the screen so I know which one's which. But 
the last two, so the neck pickup and the neck coil split, I could have sworn that, like I was like, ah, that's the Bubinga top one because it's brightest. <laughs> but both times, it was the Resin River Daedalus. I don't know what to make of that. Hmm. Interesting. Now for the conclusion. Now, I'm kind of torn because at times I could definitely hear that there were some changes, but those changes were not consistent. With clean tones, it was very easy to distinguish small tonal differences between the separate guitars. Put in a lot of distortion and that distinction becomes very, you know, unrecognizable. There were some tonal differences, but in the grand scheme of things, not enough to kind of decipher a definitive, this is a change because of this certain aspect. I don't know. What do you think? What did you think of the differences between the tones? I tried to kind of mix it up during the edit so that it wasn't always the exact same order that things were playing in so that you could kind of, well, it fooled me because I got used to the fact that the Bubinga top guitar was second. So I was like, oh, that's clearly that one, when it actually wasn't, it was another one. Um, I think this was very interesting, but I do have to say a very big, big, huge disclaimer. There's a lot of things. This is a very, very complicated, very difficult thing to actually test properly because it can, while everything was done during the same day, um, save for the last guitar, which had some issues during the stream, so we had to do that the next day. That already skews the results completely. Um, the other thing that kind of throws a wrench into this entire debate is There's far too many things that go into a guitar that could affect the tone of it. My playing wasn't great. It going through a digital amp, a digital plugin wasn't great because I had no way of actually, I can't remember whether I even had my orange amp back then. If I would have had it, I could have mic'd that up somehow and maybe gotten tones through that or acoustically listen to the tones of them but there's a lot of different components that go into the tone of a guitar. And the human element is definitely a huge portion of that. Um, while with electric instruments, it is fairly clear that the electronics do play a big part, but they're not the end all. This is the tone of the guitar is only in the pickups when the electronics and the wire used and the solder joints and everything like that. That is what makes up the guitar sound. I don't believe that for a second. And to be honest, if we're comparing electronics toward woods and stuff like that, the differences are, yes, minimum, like small, but a part of a bigger picture. If you have active pickups, that then really expands on one key component or an ingredient in this recipe, which is the electronics, because act active electronics will definitely not completely negate the wood aspect, but the differences there will become smaller and smaller due to the nature of how the pickups work and how an active system works in comparison to a passive system. Sure, the bridge, the nut, saddles, everything else, that plays a part as well, but the woods do play a part into it and the construction method as well. I've always described this as every single little piece is an ingredient in a large recipe. Um, like if you were cooking, you make a nice stew of some sort, you add a little bit of salt, that might be your little spice, which might be fresh strings or something like that. You know, metaphors for days. But in all honesty, to be able to test this completely and fully and then separately with all the rest of the components by themselves, as someone has done online. Uh, there was the great video that went viral a little while ago where somebody literally, it was like a workbench, right? And the strings were like free floating and stuff like that. And it sounded exactly the same as a just Telecaster guitar. 
um, could be in part, part due to construction, bolt on versus set neck, through neck, stuff like that. Vibrations and resonance do carry over in a different sense. Tone wood differences are very prominently known with acoustic instruments. So why wouldn't that? And there's lots of, lots of studies and lots of papers written about the frequency responses and resonances. Uh, if I find some, I'll put them in the description down below and you can check that out. At the end of the day, just, you know, go with what you dig. If you like the certain look, the certain feel, um, if to you it makes a difference um, tonally or something like that, then by all means, go for that. There are certain things that I don't like. I don't like rosewood fretboards and that's for several reasons. One of them is that a lot of times if I've had pretty much the exact same guitar with a rosewood fretboard in comparison to a ebony fretboard, the ebony fretboard has sounded better in my opinion. Whether that's asymptomatic of me just like thinking about it and making myself believe that it's better, um, that I don't know. But at the end of the day, if I steer toward and one guitar gives me more inspiration and feels better to play, then of course I'm gonna pick that up nine times out of 10 in comparison to the one that I don't like that much. This was a very interesting um, video on my part to do. Took ages to finish this one, just because it felt like a daunting task. But I think the end result is really interesting. Um, but do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And like the video if you liked it. <laughs> Dislike if you didn't like it. If you don't agree or if you do agree, I would really want to hear your opinions. And let's have a nice, civil, friendly discussion in the comments below. This is not a channel for any excess hate. I get any sort of like abuse or anything like that toward any other community or any other viewers or myself, I will not look kindly upon that. And um, you need to keep that in mind. Be kind to one another and thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Subscribe to see more and um, yeah, hit the little bell. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> all right, see you guys.